In our previous video, we have added a new field to act as a unique ID for our record. We also make it searchable by uh, setting the uh, search uh, value for our field. Now let's uh, quickly examine that before if before I have uh, tried to sort it by using a number in this case uh, auto and it doesn't work because I make it an exact search so now let's uh, try to change that so that uh, our user can enter like a uh, part of the key to search for any thing that match with that pattern so now let's uh, go back to our database configuration and open our table okay so now let's uh, choose our field and in this case change it to wildcard so we have different type of search here if we leave it as none we cannot search using that field to search if we set it exact we have to enter the exact id if we set it to wildcard, then uh, we can uh, enter part of the key to search for anything that contain that key. And if we choose a text search, it will create a text index. So generally for a text field, a long text field, then it is uh, recommended by IBM to use text search field. But for a general ID field, then probably wildcard is uh, more suitable because uh, text field uh, will create an index which means it can slow down the system a little bit and uh, it will create more uh, it will consume more database uh, storage size so in this case I'm gonna change it to wildcard now also if we go up here in the index tab what we can do with this is we can create a new index for our application so this is a good practice with database administration because we have a key field here so it's a uh, it recommended that uh, we added a new index for this field because it will be used to search or query frequently so what we're gonna do is go into the index tab and create a new row here to create a new index and i'm gonna call it a custom log and I'm going to use the same format to make it consistent so in this case I'm going to call it 2 and I'm going to enforce uniqueness for this view as well and now I'm going to add the column that I got to the index and I'm going to click on save So basically by doing that, then we're telling Maximo that uh, it had to create a new index in the database. So it depends on the type of database like DB2 or Oracle or Microsoft SQL, it will create the appropriate index for the database. And now what I have to do is to apply the change. Okay, and now if we go back to our application, then if we type 02 here, then it will display anything that contain that uh, uh, word that I enter. Like for example, if I enter lock here, it will display to uh, records. So that's how the uh, wildcard uh, function works in Maximo.